This is Matt from Time Run Music. Today we have the Sequential Take 5. This is what we get from Sequential in 2022. Here it is in its very compact form with its five voices, a deep modulation matrix, digital effects, stacks of presets. Yeah, I think it's gonna suit a lot of people. I'm gonna play some presets for you. So yeah, I made some of my own presets in here um, and I was just trying to kind of push uh, the modulation matrix. 16 slots of modulation, which can be all from the same source or all from different sources. But I think the first one is this kind of like fairly hectic sounding drum machine type patch, so. Kind of fun. So on this particular patch, I'm using the FM, um, which basically is having oscillator two modulate oscillator one. And um, yeah, you've got sine waves in here. So you can kind of get that kind of classic FM sound while still being able to go and do your classic analog signal path sound. So it's, it's still all uh, analog, but having that in there just sort of opens up different timbral options. So we kind of got this buzzy cello reedy patch here, which um, is kind of fun. Yeah, I like that one. So to uh, show off some of its capable modulation, I want to use the noise source to modulate the pitch uh, of oscillator one. And we can go and get this sort of really kind of, uh, it's competing that the, the white noise and the pitch of the oscillator are kind of uh, fighting against each other. I think that sounds really pretty. And um, a bit of the built-in reverb here. I didn't mean to do that. I've gone full wet on the reverbs. Now we've made like this whole digital sounding synth. And uh, now I've added sort of full resonance with the filter sort of mostly open. And uh, there's another bit of competitive stuff going through the signal path here. We've kind of got the, the resonance um, of the filter sort of self oscillating and then competing against the original oscillator and that white noise. And it sounds almost bit crushed now, which is kind of interesting. I don't like that, Turn, take the resonance off. Um, so let's have a listen to the filter. No resonance to begin with. Maybe two oscillators. And uh, we'll just do 50% resonance. And I'll go 75. 
which if you had headphones on for that part, you're actually gonna hear um, that down in that really low bass register, the resonance is actually um, you know, boosting the bottom end. It's peaking um, at the point of cutoff and you've got this like massive bottom end note there. I'm going to do 100% resonance as well, so protect your ears moment. One of the things which makes this um, synth even a little bit more flexible is, you know, first of all, it's really portable. Uh, I won't pick it up because we'll lose it. I'll pick it up. There we go. It's really light. <laughs> um, and, um, you know, then you've got this short key bed and you go, oh, no, I really want it big. But you know, this synth is really for someone who's um, wanting to take it many places or wants to use it as their main, you know, kind of controller for their computer, but then also have like a mad like synth to control there as well. They've also made up for the fact that you have a shorter key bed with allowing you to have like an octave down um, and you can actually select where that octave down um, is. So part of the keyboard is, you know, basically set up to be two octaves below or an octave below. So um, with a default patch here, octave down. So there'd be a little jump there, which uh, we've got, you know, one and a half octaves worth to play with for your with bass range and your right hand is now able to go and do your chords and stuff like that, so, you know. So in this synth, they've also given you uh, the vintage knob. So this just allows you to kind of get a little bit more kind of wobbly D tune going on. Uh, which, you know, kind of adds to the organicness of the instrument. The fact that there's a sine wave in here, it's pretty uncommon for an analog synth. It's normally a triangle wave and then like sawtooth and square. Uh, but actually in this, you've got this variable um, wave shape on both oscillators and um, yeah, Basically, they've both got a sine wave. So there's plenty more to talk about here, but this is us just having a bit of fun playing with this new synth. Um, I think it's gonna suit a lot of people. Like I said, it's got a huge range of possibilities in here. Uh, super compact and portable. And um, yeah, it's one of our favorite synths at the moment. So thanks for watching.